Hello my protruding eye queens or my deep set eye queens. Today I am answering the most commonly asked question on my protruding eye queen content which is what's the difference between protruding eyes and deep set eyes? And I am so glad you asked. Let's get into it. Protruding eyes and deep set eyes often get grouped together because they both have deep creases that define the eyeball and they both have natural shadows that make them stand out against other eye shapes. Which means that queens from both groups probably have similar experiences in being called bug eyes or being told that your eyes look tired or bulgy. Which is why this video must start with the following message. You are not a misfit. You are a gorgeous fucking peacock and any discomfort you've felt in the past when someone comments on your eye shape is a consequence of being one. Some blue jays, and in this case blue jays being the rest of all protruding eye shapes, equally beautiful, walk by peacocks and tell peacocks that they're beautiful, while other blue jays walk by peacocks and tell them that their feathers are busy and off-putting. More importantly, everyone knows strange is beautiful. Unique is beautiful. Change is beautiful. We here are the peacocks of the world. So if you're watching this video thinking, this is a lose-lose situation, no matter which eye shape I have, I still have bug eyes. Stop it. You are beautiful. You are simply beautiful. Now let's figure out which one of these blessings you have. So we got to start by talking about the obvious, right? The names themselves. They're exactly as they sound, but to make it as clear as possible, here's a picture of the difference. I'm going to show you a lot of pictures in this video so that you get a clear idea, but we're going to start with the simplest one. So it's all about eyeball placement. Deep or sunken eyes have eyeballs that are pushed into the head, while protruding or prominent eyes have eyeballs that are pulled out from the head. If you're like me, this was actually kind of hard to figure out on myself. So here are some telltale differences that people don't always know to look for. The lower eyelid on beauties like us will tell you a lot. On protruding eyes, when you look at the lower lid, you most likely will be able to see the bottom part of the eyeball kind of pulling out, sticking outward without having to feel around for it. It's presenting itself to you. I have protruding eyes, so I will put in an example video here real fast so you can see what my eyes look like without makeup, what I'm talking about here with the lower lid. You can see the bottom of my eyeball is pushed forward. So the skin of my lower lid stretches with it and acts as a pocket, but you can see what is inside the pocket. Now on deep set eyes, the lower lid may appear to have some creases or folds or wrinkles in it. It might almost appear as if there's a little bit of extra skin there. That's because your lower eyelid pocket isn't filled like on protruding eyes. You can't clearly see the bottom of your eyeball without feeling around for it. And that's because your eyeball is set back. Your skin isn't stretching around it like a pocket. It's actually doing the opposite. It's not stretching at all. But let's talk about the upper lid and eyelid real estate for a minute. That's what I call lid space. <laughs> Protruding eyes will often have a lot of real estate because the eye is pushed forward, the lid stretches over it, and that leaves you with a good amount of space. Deep set eyes, however, will have less eyelid real estate. Their upper eyelid falls back with the placement of their eye and therefore they might have some kind of hooded eye effect. Not a full hooded eye, but slightly. So now that you know what eye shape you are, hopefully, I wanna give you just a few examples of the awesome effect these eye shapes have on your bone structure and overall appearance. Okay, protruding eye queens, you know the common makeup trick of highlighting the center of your face? We see it exaggerated in drag queens, for example, but we also kind of do it naturally when we put concealer under our eyes or down the nose a little bit or when we highlight the center of the nose or the cupid's bow usually for the purpose of contouring well protruding eyes play that up even more your big beautiful bug eyes jump off the center of your face and bring attention to the center i make this motion because a lot of people refer to it as like the inner triangle of the face and since that just naturally happens my advice is to play that up with makeup try it next time you might have fun with it and my deep set eye queens your eyes being set back in the face makes the bones in front of them look more sharp and prominent and striking i mean think about it everyone's brow and cheekbones are set in front of their eyes a little bit but that's not enough of a drastic contrast for most people, right? That's why we see so many people highlighting their cheekbones and brow bones left and right these days. But you, you've got it in the bag, baby girl. But don't go thinking that this means that your eyes aren't beautiful. They just leave a little bit to the imagination. They create mystery. But if you really want to set your gorgeous face off and turn more heads, highlight that brow and cheekbone, honey. See what it does. Maybe even carve out your brows every once in a while. I think you'll be surprised at how confident you'll feel. Okay, queens, I am going to end with this. You are a whole supermodel. Let yourself have fun with the blessings you've been given. You deserve it. Stop wasting time and fall in love with yourself already. Thank you for watching this one. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, my queens. Thank you.